Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is quantum mechanics. Okay. So why do we need a Hilbert space? This is my first question. And this is I use use okay. I discuss this topic today. Today's discussion why do we need a Hilbert space okay in quantum mechanics okay so now friends we formalized idea of vector space in quantum mechanics okay and introduced Kate's vector okay what is quantum state this is quantum state we, you, you need to know quantum quantum state and next is k vector okay this is k vector okay so we found that particle quantum states are represented by k vector in our vector space we then found that for any physical quantity our quantum state is in a linear combinations okay quantum state are is in suppose this is the psi can be written this way c1 e1 okay c2 e2 c3 e3 this is the energy okay this way i can write write energy another is another is angular momentum we can write this way angular momentum in terms of angular momentum psi equals to a1 l1 plus a2 l2 plus a3 l3 okay so l1 l2 l3 all are angular momentum so we found that the list of outcome states may be infinite okay it can be infinite suppose in case of energy we can write i equals to c1 e1 plus c2 e2 plus up to up to infinity okay this way we can write okay and similarly we can write angular momentum also same way so we have a vector space of quantum states but what is the dimension of the vector space now the questions what is dimension of vector space okay so dimension is equal to number of of vectors in basis dimension equals to number of vectors in basis okay this is the vector space we know so how big is a basis in the vector space now next questions how big big how big is a basis in the vector space ok 
okay so it is possible for our quantum state to be in an infinite linear combinations of outcome states we have not proven that this list of outcome states forms a basis infinitely many vectors in our basis okay so infinitely many vectors so we can write ket psi equals to summation in the in the energy state way i equals to 1 to infinity c i e i i we can have infinite dimension we need linear algebra to describe our particles we always need to be very careful when we add infinities into our theory to show us what can can go wrong when we add infinities in linear algebra okay vector space of okay okay example i i give some example that we it makes wrong okay like example okay example example that vector space of polynomials are the over the real numbers okay vector space space of polynomial polynomials over the real numbers okay so example 3 plus 0.2 x square plus 99 x to the power 8 so this kind of vector space if we can add infinities then we can go wrong okay that i will discuss at first we know we have to know what is vector space our discussions what is vector space okay you know also you have already know that i i created a video vector space but it is it is i just recapitulate we just recapitulate again what is vector space okay everyone know but i will discuss again u plus v space is also also vector space okay vector space suppose u v w are vectors three vectors vectors and a comma b are scalar okay so now vector space over the over the field okay so a u is also vector a e a u is vector okay so next next is u plus v plus w equals to u plus v plus w this is also vector space next next is u plus v equals to v plus u okay zero vectors exist zero vector exists okay next next is exists a into a b u equals to a b u that is exist 1 into u into u okay another exist is a into u plus b a u plus a b okay so 
it is fairly straightforward to check that polynomial satisfy all of these. Okay, polynomial functions satisfy this vector space condition. So pick any of these rules and plug in polynomials for u, v, and w and real numbers for a and b. You will see that it holds true. It should also be clear that we have a natural basis for this vector space, polynomial vector space like x to the power 0, x to the power 1, x to the power 2, x s cube, x to the power 4, x to the power 5. This way we can get basis. The set of all powers of x starting with the 0th power. Using this as a basis and polynomial can be expressed as some linear combinations of elements of the basis. Our basis is to construct a infinite linear combination with carefully chosen coefficient. The linear combination is so shown of the left and its graph is drawn on the right. Okay, so linear combination linear combination is shown on the left okay and graph graph is shown on the right okay so very simple linear combination and graph now next Next friends, you see that p vector x, okay, p vector vector x when x x, okay, x to the power 0, okay. So my graph is, I just draw a graph and for clear understanding, okay, okay friends, now, okay, so you see that when it is 1, it is, suppose it is 1, it is 1. So, what we get? We get when x to the power 0, then my graph is this way. Okay. So, this is also a linear combination. It is follow and it is vector space. Okay. Polynomial functions. Next, when I add, when I just x to the power 0 and x to the power 1, then my graph is changed. Okay, so my graph is in this way. Okay, my graph is this way. Okay, so next when I just changing equation when I write x0 plus x1 plus x square divided by 2 factorial. Okay, so what will be? it will be this way graph is changed this way okay this way we can get so this is the, 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 the this graph is this okay so again when we just write x x0 x to the power 1 plus x x square by so this graph see that this is this way okay this is it, it 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 is this way okay so again when we will change just you we just add add basis okay we just add basis x x, x to the power 1 plus x square by 2 factorial changed but it is vector space okay it is vector space okay, this way okay so maybe correct some some way i just try to explain Okay, my diagram may be correct or not, but I just try that you can get different graph card. But when we use infinity up to infinity, it's not same graph is this way. Okay, graph is going this way means it is e to the power x, which is not it is not not vector space. It is not vector space. 
okay to the power x is not vector space so friends this is the main topic is that we ended up with something completely outside our vector space okay so what went wrong the problem that infinity introduces is actually a bit subtly okay infinity infinity introduces introduces is actually a bit subtly okay so a bit subtly okay so a bit subtly the answer boils down to the fact that infinity is a concept not a number okay for any finite linear combination we do indeed have a polynomial and therefore a vector no matter how big it is okay like you can say that if i can write p vector x can be written as x to the power 0 x to the power 1 x square by 2 factorial up to x to the power 5 divided by 5 factorial x to the power 11 102 and 102 factorial okay it is also also finite so it is also vector space okay must remember it is the note note point that this is also this is not matter how much that but it is when it is if you can you can add more and more but it is also vector space okay so but once we let the number of terms approach the idea of infinity what we get in the limit is not a polynomial when n terms to when it is infinity suppose it is x0 x1 x square by 2 factorial up to infinity then it is vector space we are out so it is it is not vector space so we are outside our vector space so i like to think of it in terms of the diagram which shows regions of objects outside and inside our vector space okay let write a diagram suppose this is inside outside and this is my inside vector space okay inside say so inside our vector space the first term in the linear combination gives us first term gives us some element in our vector space we add more terms okay we add more term okay we adding more term okay we push the linear combination towards the edge of our vector space okay edge of our this is the edge of our vector space and in here is this is my boundary okay so infinite add and barely outside it it really is important that we understand why introducing infinite infinity into a vector space is risky quantum vector space okay if our quantum state is in an infinite superposition of outcome states then there a chance this quantum state is outside our vector space therefore not a quantum state at all okay topic is quantum quantum so quantum vector space
quantum vector space super infinite superposition if our quantum state is in infinite superposition so this is the infinite infinite superposition okay infinite superposition of outcome state okay of outcome outcome state is outside okay so our vector space and they are for not a quantum state at all this is a huge problem how do we, we solve this problem this is our mathematical theory okay so so let us place a extra rule on our quantum vector space okay we just add a extra rule very convergent okay remembering remembering topic that every convergent Every convergent sum of vectors, sum of vectors must converge to an element inside our vector space. Must converge, converge to an element to an element inside our inside our vector space okay so we can write this way that summation summation i to infinity get e i tends to get shy okay this is called hilbert space okay now i hope that you can understand why hilbert hilbert space used in quantum physics okay so we need hilbert space otherwise we cannot we cannot explain we cannot define define all the state okay all the kid state now you can write what is the meaning of hilbert space what is the meaning of hilbert space okay hilbert space is a vector space equipped with an inner product that is cauchy complete so hilbert space is a vector space okay vector space space equipped with equipped with an product inner product space that is cauchy okay so it is clear for everyone okay i hope it is clear so what is then we learn now we have to learn what is cauchy complete okay an inner product is essentially generalized dot product you have to remember inner product is equivalent to dot product okay cauchy complete what is cauchy complete cauchy complete is every convergent sequence sequence of vectors sequence of 
sequence of vectors converges element inside the vector space okay inside the vector next we will discuss hilbert space is a vector space equipped with an inner product where every convergent sum on sequence convergence to an element inside our vector space so friends this is the main main fact that we used hilbert space because because we need a convergent sequence sequence which is converges to an element of inside the vector space so we get we do not get any outside it is also converges with shine